Before we talk about the latest Brandon Ayuk rumors here on Giants Now by Chat Sports, I got to let you guys know once again, we are in a sub battle. Last week, I said we were in a sub battle, and we came out victorious. So the Cowboys report hosted by Tom Downey and the Eagles now hosted by Chase Sr. said, not so fast, Marshy. We're going to run it back. Well, so far this week, we're in second place. We are actually tied with Philadelphia Eagles now. We got to catch up to the Cowboys report. If you hate the Cowboys, you hate the Eagles, and you're looking for videos every day on Big Blue, hit that sub button. Sub for Giants Dubs. Are the New York football Giants interested in trading for wide receiver Brandon Ayuk? We're going to break that down on today's show because the rumors are they have gone crazy, and John Mara at the NFL owners' meetings spoke to the media and said pretty much, we need more talent on this team, and I think that really set these rumors on fire. ESPN is talking about it, Pro Football Focus is talking about it, and even the Giants Wire is talking about it. Let's go to see what John Mara is, talk Mara, excuse me, is talking about. He was at the NFL owner meetings. He was asked, can Daniel Jones win you a Super Bowl, and how do you feel about the roster? He said, you got to put the right pieces around him. If we can continue to improve our roster, I think there is no limit as to how good or how good he can play. We are in a good position right now. We just have to add a few more players. What is he telling you? The talent around Daniel Jones right now is not at a high enough level to where this team can compete for a Super Bowl. He's telling you I believe in Daniel Jones, no doubt about it. But he said we need to add a couple more players and we need to improve the talent around the quarterback, which tells me the Giants are open for business and they could make a trade for Brandon Ayuk. But I'm going to tell you how much I think or how likely it is that a Brandon Ayuk trade could happen, and we're going to use our new rumor meter. And those are the hard hats. You guys know if you watched during the season, I always wore a hard hat. And if I give something zero hard hats, like the Eagles being a better franchise than the Giants, that'd be zero hard hats. That's fake news. One hard hat is a small shred of truth. Two hard hats as people are talking. Three hard hats is pretty likely. And four hard hats is it's elite. Like, you can't spell elite without Eli. It's happening. You know what I'm talking about. So, Brandon Ayuk to the Giants. I'm going to give it one hard hat. I went back and forth between one and two. If I could do one and a half hard hats, I would do it. This comes from the Giants Wire, PFF, and ESPN. They have all talked about Ayuk to the Giants. Trade rumors have circulated around this wide receiver for quite some time, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Look, you're already paying Debo Samuel a whole lot of money. The 49ers, they don't have a first-round pick, and the Niners, they have a team with a lot of high-level players, which means they're paying a lot of high-level players, and that includes players like Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuel and Trent Williams and Nick Bosa. They just signed the most expensive free agent this past offseason. They are paying a lot of players a lot of money, and you wonder, do they have enough money to pay Brandon Ayuk, and could they look to get a first-round pick to draft a right tackle since Mike McGlinchey just left in NFL free agency? Nick Wagner, who covers the 49ers for ESPN, tweeted this out today saying, the 49ers have received interest in Brandon Ayuk from teams hoping they can trade for him but the Niners intend to keep him. They would or they could find themselves in a situation next offseason where they can't afford two high-end wide receivers like offensive tackles this year, but those decisions will and can. Wait, but this isn't the first time we've heard about this. Look at the date at the bottom of this picture. This is back in early March. This account tweeted it out a while ago saying that there were teams that called and were interested about Brandon Ayuk. He said there were three teams that called about Brandon Ayuk. He said the Giants are among one of those teams that have called and seen if the 49ers would be willing to open a trade. This next picture I think is pretty interesting. This is a Photoshop of Brandon Ayuk in a New York football Giants uniform. And on Instagram, you can see who liked it. And what do you know? Brandon Ayuk liked this picture of him in a Giants uniform. I don't know, but I definitely think there's a little bit of smoke going on right now around this situation. The Giants Wire, they put out a piece today also talking about Brandon Ayuk saying, is San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Brandon Ayuk on the New York Giants radar? 
he very well could be. While the media and some fans are beating the drum for a reunion with former Giant stud Odell Beckham Jr., including co-owner John Mara, general manager Joe Shane could have his eyes on younger players with more future upside, such as Ayuk. And when there is smoke and where there is smoke, there is fire. The Giants reportedly called about it. He's liking pictures of himself in a New York Giants uniform. And it looks like the 49ers already are having to let good players go in free agency. Mike, Mike, like Mike McGlinchey, who was a starting right tackle for them. And they don't have a first round pick. I believe that there is absolutely an opportunity for the Giants to swoop in here and maybe make a trade for Brandon Ayuk. Later in the video, we're going to talk about what it might cost for the Giants to trade for Ayuk. We'll run through some stats to see if he's actually a wide receiver one in the National Football League. But I want to bounce this question off of you guys first. Do the Giants need to trade for a wide receiver? They already traded for Darren Waller. Do they need to make another trade for another wide receiver after signing Paris Campbell and Darius Slayton and Sterling Shepard? Let me know what you think. Type T for trade, type P for pass. This will be the pinned comment on today's show. So if you get hit with that YouTube ad break, scroll on down and answer the question. Ayuk, for me, is my number one trade target this offseason. We talked about a whole bunch of different guys that could be on the market. Like Brandon Ayuk was a name. T. Higgins was a name. DJ Moore was a name. He did get traded. We've talked about Mike Evans. We've talked about Chris Godwin, DeAndre Hopkins. We've talked Brandon Cooks, who was traded. We've talked about a whole bunch of wide receivers. But Brandon Ayuk is number one for me. And the main reason is he is young. He's only played in the NFL for three years, but he's also a damn good receiver. Posting 78 catches this year for over 1,000 yards, 13 yards per catch, eight touchdowns. Last year, 56 grabs, 826 yards, 14.8 yards per pop, and five touchdowns. And he was good as a rookie. I also like that he hasn't missed a game in the last two seasons. But it goes deeper than just the numbers for Ayuk because you got to think about it. He's really had a revolving door at that quarterback position with Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance, and uh, Brock Purdy, as well as some other guys, Josh Johnson playing in the playoffs. So I wanted to look at some numbers that really went deeper than just the box score. Yards after catch. Brandon Ayuk had 370 of those, which was number 19 in the NFL. He forced 16 missed tackles, number four amongst wide receivers. He caught 47 uh, 47 first downs this year, excuse me, which was 20th amongst wide receivers. His quarterback rating when targeted with a minimum of 60 receptions was 118, which was fifth best in the NFL, and his PFF receiving grade is 80.9. Those stats tell me that he is a top 20 receiver in the National Football League, and because he's that talented and that young, it's going to cost at least a first rounder if the Giants want to trade for Brandon Ayuk. If you want to get Ayuk to move from the Bay to the Big Apple, you're going to have to give up pick number 25 in the 2023 National Football League draft. Is that something that the Giants would think about? I think they would. Joe Shane said in his media availability at the NFL owners meetings, they will continue to look to upgrade this roster through trades, free agency, and the draft. Thing is, the Giants trade their first round pick. You're not going to see someone at pick number 25 wearing this NFL draft hat, and you need to get yours today. Go to chatsports.com slash NYG draft hat. The draft hat. The draft hats, excuse me, were just released. The Giants released a gray one, and they released a blue one. There's three different styles, a snapback, a fitted cap, and then a curved brim just like this. This one, I got mine on the way already because you know, guy, you know I support Big Blue. Get yours today, chatsports.com slash NYG draft hat. That link's in the comments and description of today's show. When you talk about trading picks for the New York Giants, that's at least uh, first – Look at the picks that they have at their disposal. They have 10 picks in the 2023 NFL Draft, but note that there's only three picks inside the top 100, and they only have six picks inside the top 200, and then their last four picks are outside the top 200. The Giants don't have a bunch of premium draft capital, but... They do have some things that they can make some shake with. I mean, do you want to give up your only pick in the top 32 for Brandon Ayuk? That comes down to who's available at pick number 25. When you're on the board, are you going to get a player that's not in their prime, like Brandon Ayuk, that could help this roster at pick number 25? That's something that we're going to continue to monitor on this channel, and you can stay up to date with all the news and rumors over on my Twitter, at Marshall Green underscore. I'm tweeting about the Giants all day, every day. So if you trade pick number 25, is that enough 
to land a wide receiver like Brandon Ayuk. Well, there's been some major wide receiver trades in the past couple of off seasons, and let's go through those to determine what a trade for a number one wide receiver would cost. This was back in 2020, 2020 off season, I believe. Stephon Diggs was traded to the Buffalo Bills from the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings received pick 22, who they drafted Justin Jefferson for. Then you saw a big uptick in the cost of wide receivers. A.J. Brown was traded from the Titans to the Eagles. That cost a first-round pick, which was number 19, and also costed a third-round pick. And then you look at what the Las Vegas Raiders gave up for the Green Bay Packers. They had to give up a first-round pick and a second-round pick. And then you saw the biggest trade I've ever seen for a wide receiver, and that involved Tyree Kill going from Kansas City to the to Miami. They gave up a first-round pick, a second-round pick, a fourth-round pick, a fourth-round pick, and a sixth-round pick. Giants aren't going to have to give up that much, but I do think a trade could look like this, and maybe this happens on NFL Draft Night. Pick 22's on the book. All the wide receivers the Giants are, have, have wanted on their board to draft are gone. Maybe Joe Shane says, I'm going to call up John Lynch and see if he would trade Brandon Ayuk for pick 25. I want to ask you guys this before I give my thoughts on it. Would you make this trade for Brandon Ayuk? Give up your first-round pick. But maybe you get a receiver who might be the best receiver in this class. Type A for accept. Type D for decline. I want to hear from you guys down in the comments section. For me, you got to pull the trigger on this trade. The fact that Brandon Ayuk is already a good and potentially great wide receiver in the NFL. He hasn't missed a football game in the last two seasons. He's only played in the NFL for three years. And he fits a position to need. He'd walk in and be your wide receiver one. I wouldn't make that deal. Yes, you would have to extend Brandon Ayuk, but I don't have a problem with paying good players that are still cheap, uh, young, excuse me, and not had a lot of injury concerns. I mean, when you look at this wide receiver depth chart for the New York Football Giants, they have some talent, right? Look, Hodgins is solid. Shepard, if healthy, is good. Wandale Robinson looked good before he left. Darius Slayton left, got hurt. Darius Slayton has shown the ability to stretch the field. I'm excited for what Paris Campbell's going to do this year. Colin Johnson looked good before last season. He got hurt and tore his Achilles. Jamison Crowder has had some big moments in the NFL, and Jeff Smith is a guy that really has had a couple of good games, but he's really going to be competing to fight on this roster. None of those guys are wide receiver ones. None of those guys are as good as Brandon Ayuk, and if you could trot out there a if you go five wide, five wide receivers, and you include Darren Waller. You got Darren Waller, Brandon Ayuk, Isaiah Hodgins, Sterling Shepard, Wandale Robinson, or take out Shepard, add Slayton and Campbell, then you're cooking with a little bit of grease, and you might be a contender in the NFC East. I did not mean to rhyme. That sounded super corny. But I appreciate everybody for tuning in to today's show. Had to break down these IU trade rumors as they are going crazy on the internet right now. We appreciate you. If you're a real one, you made it this far in the video, hit that thumbs up icon. We'd really appreciate it.